Okay, so this is fire safety for the United States. Now in here, this is going to be a lesson on fire extinguishers. Each of these points is a different point in the lesson. This first one's about fire classifications. Fires are divided into classes. A class describes a burnable material. This is very important to know when fighting a fire. Improper extinguishing agents can increase the size of a fire. A class of fire is displayed on an extinguishing agent by means of an icon and letter. So we have class A, class B, class C, class D, and all the types of fires they can fight. We have a question, what does a fire classification describe? How dangerous a fire is, the type of burnable material, the size of the fire, the temperatures of the fire. Well, it describes the burnable material. And down below it tells you a little information and tells you if it has it right. What are the characteristics of a fire classification pictogram? Letter indicating the fire classification. Yes, it has that. Color coded. Yes. They're not all circular. No. They do have a white lettering. Did click on the different classifications of fire. So, well, I was looking for solid, so you can look up here and you see solid as a class A. Metals is the class D. Liquids is the class B. And the electrical must be class C. Which combustible materials are categorized by class A? Well, wood, textile, foam, plastic. So rubber would fall into this category. Gasoline, no. Wood, yes. Plastics, yes. Okay, class B is liquid. So gasoline, alcohol, and paint. So yes to alcohol. No to a metal. Gasoline, paint, yes, would be class B. Electrical, so we have a class C, wiring, electrical devices, textiles, no, fuse boxes, yes. Which combustible materials are categorized under class D fire? Magnesium, aluminum, and sodium. Not paint, and that's correct. So then we go up to our next lesson. We can click on this arrow and it takes us to a fire extinguisher. Here it shows we have the hose, the red cylinder, the pictogram, and a label. So fire extinguisher is the second lesson. A fire extinguisher is a portable extinguisher recognizable by the red cylinder label and fire hose. Types, there are different types, powder, foam, and carbon dioxide. Label. Every fire extinguisher has a label of the following information. Fire class icon, extinguishing agent, mass, and procedure. So, how can a fire extinguisher be identified? Well, we have the pictogram. We have a label. We have a red cylinder. And we have a fire hose. Click on the identifying points of the fire extinguisher, pictogram, label, red cylinder, and hose. What types of fire extinguisher are there? Well, we learned there are no sand ones, but there are powder, foam, and a CO2. Okay, this section here, uh, you got to click in these little boxes to tell what is 
how it works. And you can use this as a helper here. Click on the types of fire for which the powder extinguisher can be used. So powder can be used in solid, liquid, gas, and electrical, and some metals. So let's click on all three and see if all four and let's see if we got that right. Foam can be used in solid and liquids. And let's check. So that's correct. The foam has a smothering effect on the burning material. Go to the next one, carbon dioxide. Well, carbon dioxide is good for liquid and electrical. Let's check that. Okay, we see we're good there. All right, so what information is there on the bottle? Well, the fire class icon, extinguishing agent, mass, and procedure. So it has weight, six kilograms. Extinguishing agent is a CO2. The procedure, remove safety pin, aim nozzle, squeeze handle. And you should use like the pass effect, pin, aim, squeeze, then sweep across the base of the fire. Fire classification pictogram. So weight. Yes is on there. How to use. Yes. Type of extinguishing agent. Yes. Data purchase is not on there. And type of burning material. Yes. Now there usually will be a tag hanging uh, in this area of the fire extinguisher of the inspection and when it was last inspected. And you should check this gauge here to make sure it's always in the green. All right. So let's move forward. Click on the fire information that can be found on the label. Firing fire classification pictogram. Why isn't that? There we go. Sorry, I was clicking on the blue dot, but you got to click actually on the label. Uh, weight. Extinguishing agent, and then label. Read the procedure on the fire extinguisher. What are the steps? Pull the safety pin, squeeze the handle, aim the nozzle. But again, sweep should be the fourth one. I like to go by pass, P-A-S-S, -S. pull the pin, Aim, squeeze, sweep. All right, so let's now go to the next lesson. Click on the pictogram that is found near the fire hose reel. So here is going to be an explanation of the fire hose, explanation of the fire blanket. Well, here's the fire hose reel. Okay, so assess the statements of the fire hose reels. So here we should read this. Fire hose reels are used to use for small fires. They have a flexible rubber hose. Maximum length is 30 meters. The amount of water is regulated by the means of the handle. Suitable for class A fires. Never use a fire hose on a class B fire. The fire hose reels are flexible, yes. Fire hose reels are suitable for small fires, yes. The handle controls the water amount, yes. The fire hose reels are suitable for all classes of fire, no. Click on the classes of fire which the fire hose is suitable for. All right, so we do know it's A. Never use a fire hose on a liquid fire. All right, so click on the pictogram that is found near the fire blanket. You see the blanket, the person on fire. Okay, assess these statements regarding the fire blanket. Let's read this. Burning objects can be covered with a fire blanket. 
The supply of oxygen is cut off so the fire goes out. Fire blankets are about two meters long and have handles to protect the hands. They are large enough to wrap around a person. A fire blanket is suitable for class A, small fires, small liquid fires, class B, and wrapping around a burning victim. Leave the blanket on the burning object a while to prevent reignition. The handles are used to unfold a fire blanket. A fire blanket cuts off the supply of oxygen. Fire blankets are approximately five meters long. Well, we know that two meters long up here. Oh, go to there. Fire blankets are suitable for wrapping around a victim. Oh, all right, well, my bad. Here it says the handles are good enough for using to control the fire, to protect your hands from the fire. Um, so click on the fire classes where a fire blanket can be used. Okay, so it says class A, solids, class B, liquids, Okay, so what should you bear in mind when using a fire blanket? To prevent reignition, the blanket should be left on the burning object for a while. Waving a fire blanket will stop the fire. Fire blankets are combustible. So well, we know this one has to be the right answer. Okay, types of fires with suitable extinguishing media. 